The Missouri neighborhood is at the center of a simmering controversy, and this controversy is all about a six-year-old girl's playhouse. Have a look. Every girl dreams of having a big, beautiful playhouse, but this miniature residence has sparked a huge uproar. This small Missouri town's homeowners association has firmly stated that the playhouse needs to go, and we would prefer not to take legal action, but we'll move forward if not resolved. This pretty pink house belongs to six-year-old Emma Goolsby, who suffers from asthma. Her mother says Emma uses the tiny abode as a safe place to do her breathing treatments, and she's even said, it's my world. So should Emma be able to keep the pink playhouse, or does the HOA really have the right to crash Emma's world? We have via Skype Emma's mother, Ashley, join us now. So, uh, Ashley, what, you know, Emma has some health issues, asthma included, and, and, and you've told the HOA, look, she needs this playhouse because of her, her medical issues. What, what's the latest with that? We did ask prior approval before we bought the house. We've only lived in our current home for 120 days. And my mom oh. contacted the board president of the HOA, and she told us that there would be no issue bringing it my realtor also had contacted the board president who also informed him that there would be no issue with it coming. But now that it has arrived, they're saying, well, that's not what you told us it is. No, we clearly told them it was a $5,000 eight by eight playhouse, but now they're deeming it a shed, which is now why they're saying that Ashley, it needs to go. Just a quick question. Do you have anything in writing to support the, the statements that were made to you before you moved into the complex? The board president had a text message conversation with my mother where my mom stated what it was and asked if it was all right for us to bring it before we ever signed on closing. So yes, there is text messages. Clearly this pink little playhouse uh, is, is more than a shed. I mean, why are they so against this playhouse? The problem that we're having with it is there's a loft in there, there's an art studio, she does arts and crafts in there. She even does her breathing treatments in there because as she's gotten older, it's harder for us to keep her, you know, active in it because she wants, she gets bored easily now. She, you know, she wants to be very active, she's six. So taking her into the playhouse allows her to take these breathing treatments in a more calming, quiet space of her own. The HOA was reached out to, but they didn't get back to us in time for this broadcast. So, Aretha, how much jurisdiction, this is their own yard and their own space, how much jurisdiction does an HOA have over a lot, something really? A lot. Yeah. When you move into these communities. And you sign off on it. And you sign off. That's why I asked her about something in writing, because she's saying all these promises were made to them before they moved into this complex. But I would hope a case like this, because she is sick and apparently there's some medical documentation to support the need for uh, her to use this safe space, space, space for her medication and her treatment, that the HOA will make an exception. Because, look, they can designate this as uh, playground equipment. It doesn't have to be defined as a shed. Yeah, I, I would so agree with that. I, I, think, I would agree. I think, beautiful, she honestly, case, I think she can win this case. Honestly, I think she can win this case. I think we can win this case. It's a nice playhouse. <laughs>